This whole season, uh, I have not been running good. A lot of 12 nines, a lot of 13 0s, a lot of times losing, and um, filled with doubt and fear, you know, just this whole season. So I woke up today and I didn't even think I'd make the team. And I was fighting a constant head battle, just trying to have confidence to fight through this. Um, so I'm glad I just had. I mean, I had my sports psychologist on speed, speed dial one, my pastor on speed dial two, and my mom on speed dial three. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. So I'm just thrilled that I was able to overcome and make this team when so many people like had said, like, it'd be so hard, and, and they're absolutely right. So um, I'm just thrilled. Thrilled to have another shot. Hey, Keith. <laughs> um, I am proud that I fought so hard. There were a lot of times this season I wanted to give up. I had the surgery, then I had two hamstring tears, both requiring extensive treatment. And there were a lot of times where I didn't think I'd be ready in time. And I wanted to like quit because I was like, I don't think I'll be ready in time or get this done. And I just, I'm, I can't believe I got it done in time. So I'm just, I'm shocked. Today, specifically feel like leading into the race, what's going in your head at the start line? And, and is this a big confidence boost in the sense you are dealing with injuries, you now have a whole nother month to kind of you know, feel better day by day and, and just walk through all those feelings today. Of course, Bryce. Um, I would just say that um, it was just, like I said earlier, just a lot of doubts and fear, and I was just trying to overcome those doubts and fears with what I needed to do and execute technically, and it was just quite a battle. Um, but once I just honed in on making sure that I drove my first three steps, because I was tending to pop up in a lot of my races, so I knew the rhythm was there. It's just like I was popping up and just kind of messing up the whole um, 10 flight of hurdles. So um, just focus on the execution. But it was definitely, a, it was it was a real battle. Like everyone in my family, my coaches, like when you see two married people bickering, that's how every relationship was with my coach, my family. Like I was just, like yesterday after the first round I ran 13 seconds, I went back in as calm as I could, but it was just not. It was like a reality meltdown. Um, I was like, Coach Shaver, I, ne I need you to stop lying to me. Like, do I look bad? Like, I mean, I, I feel good in the warm up, and then I go out there and run 13 seconds. So, uh, but it wasn't that calm. I was actually screaming and probably, like, I actually threw a shoe, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just glad I got it all over, and I have a month to prepare for the Olympics. At last, oh wait, you know, we're just waiting like for your name to pop up, and um, like I knew I was like kind of in the mix, and um, I did, but I just didn't know the place, and I just dug deep, and uh, I was just, you know, they said Lolo maybe for third, and I just like said a quick prayer, and that's when it popped up, my name popped up, and I just fell on the track, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it, it was crazy.